Morgan, the author of the 100 series. The most recent book is Book 3 Homecoming, which came out last year. And the books were the inspiration for the CW show of the same name. Um, if you're a fan who's been watching this season, I'm sorry, and I have nothing to do with what happened. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should check it out. <laughs> so, my favorite book, one of my top favorite books still, is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, which is about a young man who is told that there is nothing more important than beauty. And he gets so afraid of getting old and growing ugly that he says, I would give anything to be young and beautiful forever. And Lo and behold, that's what happens, but it turns out that sort of the mean things he does because he thinks he's this really hot superstar are all reflected on this uh, painting of him that grows older as he stays young and beautiful. So the painting reflects his sins, and it's horrifying, and it's beautifully written, and you should read it. Um, so I sort of riffed on that with a piece I call the Instagram of Dory Gray. <laughs> <laughs> My life used to be perfect. I have 7,216 followers on Instagram. There are only 2,000 people in my school, so that should really tell you something. <laughs> None of the other girls in my grade even come close. Then, disaster struck. My friend Lucy hooked up with one of Katy Perry's backup dancers, and then Katy liked one of Lucy's photos, and suddenly Lucy had like a zillion new followers. It's so unfair. Lucy always uses the most random filters, and she doesn't even have a thigh gap. Hashtag summer is coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fine. I have a plan. I'm going to Europe with my family for spring break, and my Instas are going to be amazing. They have to be. I literally give anything to get to 10,000 followers. I'd like give up my soul if I had to. <laughs> First off, Versailles. I take a super cute selfie in the gardens and caption it, only peasants eat cake, hashtag Marie Antoinette, hashtag words to live by, hashtag clean living, hashtag French Revolution, hashtag this is what will happen if you vote for Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I must be really pretty, because I'm getting a ton of likes, and I suddenly have 40 new followers. But weirdly, when I take another look, the selfie seems different. Although I'm having a really good skin month, there's some gross rash on my cheek in the photo, and maybe a wrinkle? Hmm, must be a shadow I didn't see. I consider deleting it, but it already has 200 likes, so I leave it. Next stop, Paris. I can't wait to see the Mona Lisa. I'm taking art history this year, which has really expanded my aesthetic horizons. There's this guy in my class, Ethan, who's so hot, I might actually break my rule about hooking up with short guys. <laughs> Ethan hasn't liked any of my European Instas yet, so this one has to be perfect. At the Louvre, I push my way through the crowded gallery until I'm in front of the painting. I flip my hair over my shoulder and purse my lips. But I can't get a good shot. This little girl standing next to me won't move, no matter how much I glare at her. She has a beret on her bald head, and she's surrounded by all these smiling adults with ugly t-shirts that say Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> oh, great. Now she's sitting down with a sketchbook. Super. I mean, how selfish can you get? <laughs> Luckily, I'm a really quick thinker and start to fake a hacking cough. Immediately, one of the adults slaps a surgical mask on the kid and drags her selfie-blocking, immunocompromised body away. <laughs> Thank God. I mimic Mona Lisa's famous smile, snap a selfie, and upload it to Instagram. I must look really alluring and mysterious, because within five minutes I have 60 likes and 42 new followers. But it's weird. The selfie that looks so cute on my phone seems different on Instagram. The rash on my cheek is back, and this time it's spread across my nose. My skin looks really, really <coughs> wrinkly. And okay, I know this sounds crazy, but it looks like I'm missing a few teeth. I should really delete this one, but it has 224 likes and 82 comments. Too late now, I guess. Final stop, Amsterdam. My parents dragged me to this super boring museum. There's not even a gift shop. I mean, am I supposed to be impressed just because this girl is in the attic for a few years? <laughs> Never happened to chemistry homework doesn't sound too bad to me. <laughs> I still have to take a selfie. I mean, this place is really famous. It was in a John Green movie. <laughs>
It's a little hard to find a spot with natural light, but I've been taking a pretty good photo. This time I make a thoughtful, wistful face so people know that I'm deep and have a great, great bone structure. Then I upload it to Instagram with the caption, hashtag never forget, hashtag so sad, hashtag live in the moment, hashtag spring break. <laughs> this is going to be the best one yet. The reaction on Insta is insane. In less than a minute, I have 600 new followers and almost 800 likes. I grin when I see a comment from Lucy pop up. Wow, you look so skinny. Amazing. I do have really incredible metabolism. <laughs> I look at the photo again and a chill runs down my back. Like that time I did the ice bucket challenge and pretended I had a cousin with ALS so my video would get more likes than Lucy's. <laughs> my face doesn't just look weird. It's gone. No flesh. Only bone. My selfie is just a skull. But then I notice my follower count and forget about everything else. 10,034, baby. Hashtag blessed. <laughs>